I'm going to make one more change here. Notice I've typed in George and Hanoveva again in lowercase g and both of those. And so now when I do my compute, I get a love score of 100%. Now, why did I get an 85 before and now I'm getting 100? It's because the capital G in the uh, letter George is not the match with the lowercase g. So we should be able to compare these words with case insensitivity. So let's go back to where we converted our, our fields into strings here. So after we compute to string, let's go to dot and to, let's choose a, choose to lowercase for both of these. So that way we do lowercase letters on comparison. So now it should make no difference whether the letters are capitalized or not. Okay, I'm back in the code now. Now I want to have this uh, compatibility score as an integer. So I'm going to be rotating my uh, little needle around and I want to have an integer that is the same as the compatibility score. So I'm going to call this thing the love score. So first of all I'm going to cast the uh, love score as an integer of the compatibility score. However, I would also like to take the compatibility score and let's, um, let's multiply that by 100. So instead of uh, 0.85 I'm going to get the number 85. Now I'm going to take away 50. Now the reason why I'm going to do that is because as you know the needle is going to move. Let's say if it's less than 50 it'll move to the left. If it's greater than 50 it'll move upward toward the right. And so my love score is a number between negative 50 and a positive 50. So there's some notes to say the love score is between negative 50 and one and a positive 50. Let's make one more change here. Notice I added a parenthesis before and after the uh, compute score times 100. So we want to multiply by 100 and then round off to an integer and then subtract 50. So I got my order of operations a little bit better here. You'll recall that we have a, a rotation, rotation animation. And this is uh, going to be a review from our bottle. So our rotation is going to go from 0 to the uh, love score. And now the other routines are relative to yourself and uh, the axis. So recall from what we did earlier and we'll repeat from our bottle example. I'm going to actually just toss in an extra 360 degrees so that the arrow will do a full rotation plus the love score. A couple more things we need to do for the animation. Okay, so copy that code there. That should set the options for making our needle move. And um, let's go and put in our final toast. And let's run the program. Let's try with Jack and Jill next and let's compute them. And they get a negative 25, so not so good. It looks like we've got ourselves a spinning dial and your application's running.